Hello everyone, I'm Shellstorm, welcome back to another reaction video and today we're gonna check out Ruby Volume 2 Episode or Chapter 1 uh, The best day ever, I think uh, So, I mean, we are done with the first volume and without further ado, let's just jump into the second one So, let's go Newly reopened. Damn. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Not really from around here. Um, would you mind pointing me in the direction of the shop? Mm -hmm. They were just numbers. I knew you were lost. Mercury, I will seriously pay you to shut up. That's not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. Mm, no deal. Mm, fine. Whatever. You want me. <laughs> Just... Yeah, leave the money on the ground. There are no more shadow people. Noticed. So how much farther? A few blocks. Oh, this place is so dull. Meh, I kinda like it. Tall buildings, diverse culture. And nice, dopey people who are easy to pickpocket. That's every city. Ooh, Emerald, Master Thief! Please don't take my money. I barely have enough to get by. Mm. <sighs> You're no fun today. Emerald and Mercury. Welcome to Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. <laughs> how may uh, How may I help you? Just browsing. Actually, I was wondering, do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Yes, we do. That's great. Would you like a copy? No. Just wondering. Oh, oh, what about Violet's Garden in paperback? He's got it. Hardback, too. Ooh, options are nice. Eh, no pictures. Hey, do you have any comics? Near the front. Oh, no, wait. What about Third Crusade? Um, I don't believe we carry that one. Oh. What was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. And you're Tuxin? That's right. So then I take it that you're the one who came up with the catchphrase. Yes. And what was it again? <sighs> Tuxin's book trade, home to every book under the sun. Except the Third Crusade. It's just a catchphrase. It's false advertising. You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep, Tuxin. I hear you're planning on leaving, moving all the way to Vacuo. Your brothers in the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. And neither are we. You know who we are, don't you? Yes. And you know why we're here? Yes. So, are you going to fight back? Yes! <laughs> ah! So much for our Wolverine over here. Mm. What's with that? Yeah, I like the pictures. That these are some nice drawings. Nice what Blake. Are you doing? Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Sisters, friends, wives. Four score and seven minutes ago, I had a dream. This ought to be good. <laughs> mm. A dream that one day 
the four of us would come together as a team and have the most fun anyone has ever had. Ever! Did you steal my binder? I am not a crook. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about kicking off the semester with a bang. I always kick my semesters off with a yang. Eh? Guys? Am I right? Look, guys, it's been a good two weeks, and between more exchange students arriving and the tournament at the end of the year, our second semester is going to be great. But classes start back up tomorrow, which is why I've taken the time to schedule a series of wonderful events for us today. I don't know whether to be proud uh, that's or a lot. of what you have in store. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might sit this one out. Sit out or not, I think however we spend this last day, we should do it as a team. I, for one, think that... Damn. <laughs> Man, that's harsh. So then we were fighting side by side, and she was super fast, and I threw a banana at a guy, which sounds gross, but it was awesome. Nice. Right? <laughs> and the best part is, she's a faunus. But that's a secret, okay? Got it. And not a, I'm gonna go tell Scarlet the second son turns his back secret. I'm talking secret, secret. Whoa, chill out, man, okay? I got it. I got it. You better. I just don't want to screw this up, you know? The people here are the coolest. No offense to you guys. I'm taken. Okay, they're just in here. I'm really excited for you to meet them. So be cool, okay? You're gonna be cool, right? Dude. Good point. Yep. <laughs> His face. No, the melons. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. The baguette. Who can destroy the... Ma okay. Nobody can eat that bread anymore, come on. It's so hard. Damn. Nice. Here we have a um, melon hammer. Mm. Breaking the sound barrier with it. I don't know how to say the name of that fish. I don't even know the name of that vegetable. It's not broccoli. Have no idea. Yeah. Turkey stronger. Magneto over here. Let's go! Speed! Ruby won definitely every 
uh, run school, right? I love these guys. <laughs> Children, please do not play with your food. Point taken. She was in the air like damn a couple of minutes. They're supposed to be the defenders of the world. And they will be. But right now they're still children. So why not let them play the part? After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. She sent the kids again. This is turning out just like the divorce. <laughs> oh. Spare us the thought of you procreating. That was a joke. And this just might tell me where you two have been all day. What? Uh. I'm a professional, sweetheart. Pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Why do you have this address? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. One of them, at least. I had that under control. Two packed bags and a ticket out of bail said otherwise. Listen, you little punk. If it were up to me, I would take you and your little street rat friend here, and I would... <laughs> I'd, uh, not kill them? Cinder! I thought I made it clear that you were to eliminate the would-be runaway. I was going to... He was going to escape to Vacuo. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. I think he was some sort of cat, actually. What? Like a puma? Yeah, there you go. Quiet. Did I not specifically instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in Vale? <laughs> I just thought... Don't think. <laughs> Obey. Yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. And you. <laughs> Why wasn't this job done sooner? Uh, 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 uh? Sorry if I've been a little busy stealing every speck of dust in the kingdom. You're an inspiration to every punk with a gun and a ski mask. Look around, kid. I've got this town running scared. Thieves camping out at every corner, dust prices through the roof, and... We're sitting pretty in an old warehouse with more dust crystals, vials, and rounds than we know what to do with. Speaking of which, if you guys wouldn't mind filling me in on your Grandmaster plan, it might actually make my next string of robberies go a little smoother. Oh, Roman, have a little faith. You'll know what you need when you need to know. Uh. Besides, we're done with dust. Okay, then what now? We're moving. Have the White Fang clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Coordinates? We're proceeding to phase two. Hee <laughs> hee Don't tell what it is. <laughs> okay. I did the reaction on the opening for the um, second volume, so you can go check that one out. But yeah, this was the first chapter for the second volume. Um, one of the one of the best episodes out there. Um, really like it. The fight was amazing. Um, fight with the food, the best day ever. Um, I don't think that I have much to add here. We'll just continue. With the reactions and we'll see where that leads us so thank you for checking this one out if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below subscribe for more and don't forget that bell for notifications and i'll see you in the next one bye